Hello everybody. Um, it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I say that for two reasons today. One is that I live three miles from here, or 5K. And the other is that where I am is called Buttermilk Falls. And this is where Mr. Rogers, like Fred Rogers, red sweater, loves kids and everything. Um, it's where his grandparents grew up. And he spent a lot of time here as a kid. Um, I'll show you back here a little bit, if you can see that. Mr. Rogers spent a lot of his time here as a young boy. Um, there are remnants of the homestead that are here, a little bit of a foundation, but there's also a very nice, nothing major, but very nice waterfall. And I'd like to spend today playing around with some exposure times seeing if I can get that feathered uh, artistic effect in the water that seems to be pretty popular with with some of the photography crowd. I'd like to see if I can't add to that community a little bit today. So I am going to, there's Cole there, I'm going to head down and it's a super easy trail but I will see everybody when I get down there. This is awesome. This is just great. Um, the lighting's not fantastic. Uh, it's about 4.30 in the evening here, and I'm not really sure where sunset is at the moment. Uh, I think it's probably gonna be that direction, so it's not really facing on the falls. But I've been practicing some long exposures on the camera. So I was about two seconds, six seconds, three seconds, trying to figure out what's a a nice little sweet spot for those nice little artsy kind of where the water just kind of trails and looks really flowy so I was playing around with that and um, it's just been a really good time here I'm, I'm happy with the photos that I took uh, happy with being able to navigate through the camera settings and everything it's been fantastic So it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Um, this is actually the second day that I'm here. I left a little bit early yesterday to take care of the sick kiddo. So I'm back. I want to spend a little more time working on some long exposures and some compositions, things like that. The other part of this is that I, I was able to put some images onto my social media and get some really good feedback and some of that feedback explained how I could do some of my composition a little bit better which is definitely appreciated and there were some some comments about you know I like this exposure time versus that exposure time or just some tips and tricks so I kind of want to take a little bit of time today to put some of that into play so uh, it's cold this morning, that's why I am in this, and typically I wouldn't wear something this bulky or constricting in a way, but with this trail, it just wraps down and around and then you're at the falls, 
and so I'm going to be standing still quite a bit and I wanted to, to make sure I wasn't worried about being cold and shivering that I could just focus on the shutter. So let's get to it. So I'm actually hurrying a little bit trying to get down here. Uh, the sun's starting to come up. It came up a little bit faster than I thought it was going to um, because it was kind of cloudy this morning. I didn't think this was going to happen, but this is awesome. So I'm getting there and I want to get set up quickly. So maybe the light is going to hit these falls. This could be impressive. This could be amazing. So let me explain what I'm trying to do is I have my camera set up, nice new tripod, works great from what I need it for. And I had some recommendations to do some portrait so I can actually flip the camera and do more of an up and down vertical uh, shot. And I'm just waiting for the light to come up a little bit more. It, I ran down here as fast as I could, maybe. Um, to get the light and it seems to have gone behind a cloud again so I'm kind of waiting a little bit I think if I give it some time the Sun's gonna come up and it's gonna hit these falls um, I'm really hoping that's the case anyway but I am nice and warm so that's good but I do want to thank everybody that gave me advice tips and tricks for shooting this kind of landscape so thank you So I'm shooting at 1 25th of a second, so a quarter of a second, and I'm at f5.6 with an ISO of 100. I, I, I changed it to portrait mode so that I could focus mainly on the waterfall itself. You know, you have a nice long waterfall and that portrait orientation really helps to capture just the waterfall. Um, that helps me remove the, the landscape a little bit as far as some of the, the brush and clutter and also the steps. So there are steps that run down to the waterfall and you can actually go behind the waterfall, which is pretty neat, but I'm trying to remove that as well. I do like some of that man-made stuff in my photography, but I kind of want to focus just on the waterfall right now. And I'm also doing, this was a smart tip that I read, is instead of doing the shutter manually, I've set it to a two second timer. So I push the shutter, I step back, and then there's no handshake from me at all. So I think that was a really good tip as well. But it's just, it's beautiful here. I, I love this place and I'm, I'm very fortunate that I live just a couple minutes down the road. This is great. I think I got some good shots, but uh, it's time to move on. I'm going to see what I can do down a little bit lower. And I want to take a look at the foundation of Mr. Rogers' grandparents' house. So that's where I'm going to head next. I'll see you in a bit. So I decided to take a break for a second, warm up my hands, put on my big boy gloves, and uh, just want to talk a little bit real quick and, and say a thank you. Um, the photography community has been an, an excellent resource, and they've really helped me grow and develop my skill. Uh, I do want to point out one individual in particular, and that's Keith Mason. Uh, super down-to-earth, easygoing guy. He's posted a few times on my social media and given me some tips and tricks. And I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, you're you're kind of like my virtual mentor uh, if, you, if you're watching this. 
So I will definitely post some socials and all of his portfolio work down in the description below. But it is well worth your time to check out Keith Mason at Keith Mason Photography. So I'm going to take some time here, warm up a little bit. I brought some coffee and of course I always bring a granola bar. You didn't think it was going to show up, but it did. Um, so I'm going to enjoy being outside a little bit, even though it's freezing. So I want to take a second and explain what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to flip you around. And I have this small little waterfall here. Uh, it's, I don't even know if it counts as a waterfall. There's like a dam here that comes in and breaks it. and It's, it's nice. It's got some, some really good white water to it, that ripple effect. And it comes down here and there's some ripples, etc. Right? So I'm going to try this uh, to show you what I'm doing here. And I'm not sure this is going to work very well. But I have... Where's my finger? I have settings here that I'm trying to play with. So my ISO, I'm trying to keep down um, as low as I can. I've heard that's a, a good rule of thumb. And my exposure meter here, my light meter, I guess it is, same difference maybe. Uh, photography people can chew me out later for that if it's different. But I'm running at 22, F22 with a four second and it's really coming out very overexposed which I knew that it was going to but it is helping me to learn what exactly is going on with the camera and and how I'm if you see there it's at like about two and a half a little bit over two and a half on the scale so I have my countdown and my image There we go. So you can see it's very overexposed. But what I'm doing is I'm trying to be a little more methodical about this and I'm adjusting certain settings one by one, taking a picture and then adjusting another one and then adjusting another, etc. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be able to sit down at the computer and I'm going to be able to do like a compare and contrast, not only in how the image quality looks, but also in what these settings are really doing. But that's what I'm working on right now. That's what I'm doing is just playing with the settings piece by piece in order to really learn it and, and see what I can do also in post. These overexposed shots that I'm taking, I'm not sure that I can darken them a little bit or, or take down the blacks, decrease the whites, that kind of thing. Uh, so it'll be a neat learning experience on the post production side of it as well. So I made it back to the car. Um, not that bad of a hike. It's a little trail, pretty flat, like I said before. Very nice, really very nice. Um, I just again want to say thank you 
to Keith Mason for helping me out, helping me grow on my photography journey. Uh, please do take just a few moments to check out his channel. I'll link it below. Give him a like, give him a sub. Uh, definitely deserves it. Uh, other socials as well. He's always posting something that just is fantastic. So on that note, I'm going to head home. I'm going to fire up Lightroom, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.